welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome so today is actually going to be a little bit of a different video than what I've been posting so recently I've been posting a lot of Valentine's Day makeup looks but today is actually a very special day besides it being Valentine's Day I feel like everyone is going to be posting a Valentine's Day makeup look today like for date night or anything like that but today is actually the 27th anniversary of the release date of Silence of the Lambs, so I thought that this would be a really fun kind of break from the other makeup, and it's a way to give tribute to a really, really amazing movie. So if you want to see how you can achieve this Death Moth Silence of the Lambs inspired makeup, just keep watching. Hey guys, so to start off we're going to be taking our Marilyn Paradise paint in white and we're just going to be outlining the shape of the moth. I found that it was easier to outline it and apply the foundation first and then go in and add details rather than trying to dodge around the already painted moth with foundation afterwards. So it was kind of easier to just have the shape mapped out and go around it with foundation first, that way I could clean up any mistakes. So obviously I tried one technique with body paint and that didn't work. So what I decided to do is I find that it's easier to take my NYX foundation with the white body paint, mix them together, and I find that it has a much smoother application. At first I tried just having the normal white body paint, but it was too thick and wasn't applying or looking the way I wanted it to. It looked a little too streaky, a little bit too much like clown white, but when mixing it with my porcelain foundation, it just created the perfect coverage. I ended up applying the foundation twice just so I could really get the pale white color I was going for and it just looked absolutely amazing and flawless so I highly recommend this if you are ever doing any kind of makeup that requires having white foundation or if you just need to make yourself look pale mix it with a porcelain or really really pale foundation and the coverage is just so much better Next, I went ahead and set my foundation on my forehead with my white eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette just because I was raising my eyebrows a lot so I was kind of getting some creasing and this just helped eliminate that. Next, I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in yellow, and I'm just going to start by creating the details on the Death Moth. Now, not gonna lie, a lot of this is kind of hard to explain because you're literally just looking at the picture and trying to mimic it as best as possible. So it's not like I can really explain it because all I really did was looked at the picture and tried to repaint it on myself. It's not like some other tutorials where I can kind of go into depth of, oh, this is how I did it, yada yada, because it's very kind of self-explanatory. I looked at at the photo and I was just trying to you know recreate it on myself and just using different colors so the next color I used was my Marilyn Paradise paint in orange and once again I'm just kind of creating some stippling motions and kind of creating that random feathered like texture of the wings I don't want it to look too blocked out or anything I do want it to look more realistic so for that it's more realistic to have more abstract looking designs and shapes and the color application than just having blocked out precision because you know the moths they have really unique wings all of them are reasonably different so just kind of going in and making it look more realistic by actually diffusing the color and brightening it up in other areas as you can see i'm going back over some of the orange with yellow just so we can add a little bit of the multi colors that they have in the wings Next, I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown and doing the same thing like I did with the orange body paint. I'm just kind of feathering it out, trying to fill in the blank spaces that I didn't fill in earlier, but also leaving some open so that we can fill it in with other colors later. Also, it is going to help if you kind of build up the color in some areas so that it's darker and once again, it's going to be more realistic because you're going to have that realistic looking highlight and shadow of the wings. I'm also going to be outlining the wings with the brown. I'm trying to keep it light and thin because I don't want it to be so defined as, oh, this is the outline of the wings. I do want it to be seen that this is where the wing ends, but I don't want it to kind of look like I just took a Sharpie to it, if that makes any sense. So since it's kind of getting a little harder to explain exactly what I'm doing, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you watch me while I turn on some, you know, smooth, creepy Silence of the Lamb theme music. So allow your ears to enjoy and hopefully uh, this still makes sense.
Ah yes, finally something different. So now I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise paint in black and I'm kind of going to be doing the same thing that I did with the brown body paint and starting with creating the color more opaque and starting to feather it out as we get closer towards the middle of the wing. We don't want this to be too dark and too blocked out, but I did notice in the picture it is more blocked out towards the body of the moth and then towards the outer corners it kind of feathers out and kind of looks a little spottier kind of like more like a cheetah or something like that so i'm also going over the brown body paint from earlier because the body is black i decided to start off with brown though just so it could kind of um be easier to erase or fix if needed and so now i'm just kind of darkening it up and filling in all of the gaps from earlier and really just kind of starting to add more of that detail Next I'm going to be taking my Graftobian Pro Paint in Red Crimson and I'm going to be taking a small brush and just kind of stippling on the red color, especially around the brown areas. That is definitely where the red seems to be more prominent and you want to stipple it on so it's not too harsh or anything like that. I'm also going to be going into my white and black body paint and really creating the skull detail on the moth. We don't want it to look too cartoonish I should say so I'm kind of going over it a few times lightly with the black body paint and eyeshadows just to make sure that it doesn't look too uh, white and too uh, like I said too perfect I guess you definitely want it to look old and decrepit Next I'm going to be taking my black eyeshadow from my Morphe 35B palette and creating these shadows under the moth. This is going to really help enhance the look and making it look more three dimensional because we are applying the shadow so it's going to look like it's actually coming off of our face. You're also going to want to be applying the eyeshadow under your eyes just so we can create some nice kind of natural looking shadow but also make it look more enhanced and dramatic for the sake of this look. I'm then going to be going into my white eyeshadow and just packing that on to my eyelid just to really brighten it up. Then I'm going to be going back into the black eyeshadow and tightlining my upper lash line and kind of smoking it out. You don't want it to be too perfect because that's where we're going to be taking our NYX Epic Ink Liner and going over it to really darken up our lash line and kind of make it once again look a little bit more dramatic. Next, we're going to be taking our NYX eyeliner in white and just tightlining our lower waterline to really open those eyes up a bit. Then we're going to be curling our lashes to prep them for our Benefit Their Real Mascara, and we're just going to go ahead and sweep that through our eyelashes. Next, we're actually going to go ahead and take some of the blue eyeshadow from the palette. You really want to diffuse it so it doesn't look too pigmented. We're just kind of creating that nice light blue shadow like the DVD has. And so I'm just kind of lightly applying that all over the areas that I would naturally contour my face. Then to add a little bit more definition, I'm actually going to be taking the black eyeshadow again and lightly going over it once again just to add a little bit more dimension and kind of make the color really pop a little bit more so it looks more intentional. And then we're going to be going in with our false eyelashes. For this, I'm just taking my Kiss number 11s and applying them to my upper lash line. For the final touch, I'm just going to be taking a little bit more of the white body paint and just lightly streaking it through my hair in random places. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. Happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!